Hi guys, in this video I want to show you a new accessory that's going to help you nail the focus when working with still photography lenses. So what I have here with me is uh, the focus shifter. Uh, it comes in this little pouch and it's literally just this little device that you put on uh, onto your lenses uh, to help you get the focus. Uh, it does a few things. First it just helps you kind of easily turn uh, the, the focus ring on your uh, lens and also get it so, so you can do nice, precise, smooth movement. So, because you have this kind of lever and it goes away from the center of rotation of your lens. And, uh, and like I said, this is mainly meant for still photography lenses, which were not designed for video. If you know anything about that, you'll know that still photography lenses usually have a very short throw when it comes to the focus ring. Uh, because they're meant for still photography to you know to, so you can quickly nail the focus but what if you want to be able to let's say rock the focus smoothly or track with an object then you want to have a bit longer distance than uh, most of these lenses will give you well by taking the basically the controls further away from the center of the the lens you're actually going to have a longer distance they have to travel and that gives you you know allows you to be a little bit more precise so that's what this thing uh, does, and you achieve that by attaching this handle up here. Um, another thing that they also give you is this little screen. Now you don't have to use this screen, but this is more just for putting your markers on there. So you can put your focus points, let's say. Uh, or you can use these also little clips, uh, and these clips will go onto here and provide sort of like a hard stop, uh, like you, what you would get with a, with a standard follow focus. See over there, for example, if I, uh, let's say, set this mark to this position, I can stop like this, and the same thing uh, up here. So you can always hit those marks. Also, uh, provided with the, the kit that you buy is, uh, like I said, aside from the little travel pouch, they give you a little marker uh, pen so that you can actually make your marks here on the disc, and an extra rubber band uh, that you can put on your lens. Now, why would you need to use the rubber band? Uh, well, you, you can put basically, I guess, one on one lens, let's say, and another on another, and have it there already, because it, you're gonna use the rubber band to actually attach this marking disc. This is, this is how the disc basically looks, and it just kind of fits the lenses, but to attach it, you're actually gonna kind of put it under the rubber band here, uh, and it's gonna hold it in place. So let me do that right now. I'm just gonna show you guys how long it actually takes for me to put this under. And the trick sometimes is to get the rubber band, especially when it's already fairly stretched, like on this lens, to, uh, to kind of go under and stay under. But as you can see, that's how long it takes to t put, a, put it back on. Uh, so what do I think overall about this? I mean, it does help you to get more precise focus uh, with still photography lenses. I'm not really sure about this disc. Like for me, I mean, I can see, I guess, it being usable if you want to put markers, but when I was using the hard steps, I just feel like basically because this whole handle is not so rock solid anyways, even if you tighten it all the way. So when it comes to, you know, to hitting the actual like really precise focus positions, I found when I was testing it that sometimes it hits those positions, but sometimes, like I said, this, this thing will bend a little bit and then it's a little bit off the focus. It's not always there when it comes to using the, the hard stops. Uh, but you can just use it, like I said, without the hard stops or even completely without this disc. And then I think just the handle itself is pretty cool because like I said, just allows you to, to get a lot more sort of precise and, and slower basically uh, focus adjustments. The handle itself is actually well made. And what I like about it is that it's, uh, it's fairly easy to attach. You just kind of loosen this ball here on the, on the top of it. And when you loosen this ball, you can then move it, you know, take it on and off the, the uh, lens. So you can drag it off the lens, put it back on. Uh, let's see, swap it between lenses and then to tighten the rubber band there that holds it on place, you just rotate this. And there you have it. Now, one thing I noticed is that when I was using it uh, with this lens actually, uh, which has a very loose focus ring, and that's something that a lot of uh, still photography lenses are gonna have, have basically problems with is the focus mm -hmm. ring is, uh, is, is very, very loose. Uh, the weight of the handle itself would actually cause uh, the, the focus to, to actually shift if I let go of it because the, this would basically just pull it down. So you do have to then attach another little piece that they give you which is this little counterweight. Uh, because uh, as you'll notice in these shots of me testing it, 
without the counterweight the second I let go of it uh, the, like I said the handle just drops and it completely throws off my focus uh, also another thing is uh, this thing is not gonna work for um, uh, electronic basically servo lenses so uh, if, if you have those kind of lenses it's not gonna work because you can never really hit precisely the um, the, basically the, the, and go to from infinity let's say to the closest focus of focus point so you need lenses that actually have hard stops built into them not electronic uh, servo lenses which pretty much means that most uh, if not all uh, DSLM type uh, you know camera lenses are gonna are not really gonna work with this so like I said um, I wouldn't wouldn't recommend it for that but when it comes to using it with like <laughs> this old lens that I have I actually had to dig out this camera dust it off uh, because I haven't used this as the Canon 7D I haven't used it in well forever <laughs> uh, and I had to find it just so that you've actually used this lens because most of my other lenses uh, like for my for example GH4, GH5, uh, G85 they're all uh, electronic servo lenses and so like I said when I, I did try it with those and it just it did not work because you could never really hit the, the, the marks again uh, but then again, that's a, that's more of a fault of the lens itself than than this uh, system. So overall, what do I think about it? I mean, it's um, it's a neat idea. Uh, like I said, putting this on is no problem. Putting this little disc for me was sometimes a little, you know, kind of I fumbled with it. Sometimes also it would fall off. And then this rubber band doesn't really hold it in place that well. If you really really like putting the markers on there and marker positions, I guess it could come in handy. But for me, I kind of found it. A little bit useless because of the way that I like to work too. Uh, so I would say just for this handle itself, if you're interested in getting something like that, I mean, I think it's a well-made handle, so you might be you might you might want to look into this thing. But otherwise, if you want to have something where you can precisely hit your focus marks, then I think you really do have to invest in, into a full size, you know, kind of a traditional follow focus system with with the kind of a disc here on the side, and then probably you have rails and things like that. Uh, and and also probably then you should get proper cinema lenses or at least lenses that have as our cinema gear to, uh, with, for the f f focus ring uh, so you can do that that's one problem basically with focusing uh, with uh, you know DSLR uh, still photography lenses if you are stuck with those lenses and you have to work with them and you'll probably notice then a lot of times you have those you know, big issues of trying to nail the focus when <laughs> your focus adjustment is literally uh, measured in millimeters uh, then having this handle is is gonna ha make it a, a little bit easier uh, to hit those marks so in, in that case it might be helpful uh, but anyways if you guys want more info about this uh, as always check out my website uh, if you guys enjoy this video hit the like button subscribe uh, and check out some of my other videos too while you're at it uh, anyways thank you guys and I'll see you next time